Today we are going to do activities 1 to 6. Please keep your textbooks open. Activity 1. Read the sentences in the text where the bold lettered word in the word clouds occurs. Circle the right meaning of the word and fill in the table given below as directed. So look, the first word is startled. Which of these three words has the same meaning as startled? Shocked, happy, sad. Moon worker le eight workinana startled in the meaning. The answer is shocked. Startled nyetaga. Shocked. Disgust. Which of the three words has the same meaning as disgust? Worry, dislike, anger. Disgust means dislike. Ebb. Which of these three words has the same meaning as ebb? Fade, grow, delay. Ep means fade. The ebb and flow of the tides means the coming and going of the going of the tides. Ep means fade. Glare. Has the same meaning as stare. Turchinokuga. Stare. Fake. Which of the three words has the same meaning as fake? False, shake, real. Of course, it is false. Conquer. Which of the three words has the same meaning as conquer? Race, win, soccer. The answer is win. Now you can fill in the table given in the textbook. The next section is about idioms. What are idioms? An idiom is a group of words. With the meaning that is different from the individual words. For example, put on. To put on is to wear something. To put on clothes. Put on is an idiom. Another example is on point. On point means well done, effective. Another example, catch someone's eye. What does that mean? Get someone's attention. That is another idiom. So an idiom is a group of words with a meaning that is different from the individual words. Sometimes the meaning is easy to understand. Sometimes it is difficult to understand. Here is an example. Once in a blue moon, we meet each other. Once in a blue moon, does it mean frequently? Does it mean sometimes? Does it mean very seldom? Very seldom. Once in a blue moon, we meet each other. And the example, he has been jobless for several months and it is his wife who keeps the pot boiling. We will keep the pot boiling in the bagnar and dana. Does it mean keep the fire burning, avoid starvation, keep firing, getting angry? He has been jobless for several months 
and it is his wife who keeps the pot boiling. It is his wife who makes income. It is his wife who avoids starvation. Here are a few more idioms. A blessing in disguise. What is a blessing in disguise? A misfortune that is actually a blessing. Misfortune and misfortune are the tall mangalum. It is actually a blessing. Blessing in disguise. A drop in the ocean, a very tiny part of something big. A tiny part of something big like the ocean. A piece of cake. When do you say something is a piece of cake? For example, passing the entrance exam was a piece of cake. Something easily done. I could do it very easily. Actions speak louder than words. You already know. It's a very famous, very familiar idiom. Pay an arm and a leg. That means pay a very large amount of money. Pay an arm and a leg. A chip on your shoulder. What is it? What do you mean by a chip on your shoulder? An angry attitude from someone who feels mistreated or unfairly treated. It's a small world. When do you say it's a small world? When you encounter the same people or situations in unexpected places. Seeing familiar people or situations in unexpected places. For example, you go to Paris and you see a familiar Malayali hotel in Paris. And what do you say? Oh, it's a small world. Jumping the gun, tokil kairi, vedi vekiva. You already know the meaning. Once in a blue moon, I already told you, it means very seldom. Mallapur. Over the moon means extremely happy, delighted. Now pause the video and try to solve these questions. So you have to fill in the blanks with the idioms you just learned. So what's the first question? Getting my car fixed is going to cost me an arm and a leg as the engine has completely blown but I have no choice I need it for work an arm and a leg means a very large amount of money the flu I had a few weeks ago which prevented me from going on holiday with my friends was trash they had a terrible time Everything went wrong and it cost them a lot of money. So the flu was a blessing in disguise. You thought it was a misfortune, but it turned out to be a blessing. I was in a cafe in Italy and amazingly, I saw Paul from down the road in there. See, you went to Italy, you saw your neighbor there. It, what a small world. It's a small world. Jan is finally getting a chance to go on her trip of a lifetime, a holiday to Australia. She was dashed when I spoke to her. She was very happy when I spoke to her. She was over the moon when I spoke to her. Three pounds may seem like dash. But if everyone contributed that much, we'd have thousands. Seems like a small amount, a very small amount, which means a, it may seem like a drop in the ocean. Now 
The government keeps talking about reducing poverty, but what do they ever do about it? Nothing. So it's all words and no action. Action speaks louder than words. I got a promotion at work, but all John did was make a joke about it. He has a real dash. I think he's just jealous. He has a real chip on his shoulder. The interview for that new job was dash. They asked me really easy questions. The interview was really easy. It was a piece of cake. The new Martin Scorsese film is out at the cinema. A film that comes out that I really enjoy and want to see happens. Dash. So I'll definitely go and see it. it happens very rarely. Very seldom. It happens once in a blue moon. He was dashed when he gave up his job to start university. Now he has found out he can't get a grant. He was jumping the gun. So here are the answers. What do you mean by jumping the gun? I'll edit the chadi and the glitch. So kill carry very quick. Here are a few more idioms. In hot water, to mean difficulties, to mean trouble. When you say somebody is in hot water, that means that person is in trouble. Butterflies in one's stomach. When you see somebody, you feel like you have butterflies in your stomach. What does that mean? It means you are anxious or you are nervous. Under the weather. When do you say somebody is under the weather? I'm feeling under the weather. I'm feeling upset. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling ill. I don't have energy. When do you say hold your horses? To hold your horses is to slow down. Think about it. Wait. Don't do something without thinking about it. Hold your horses. Piece of cake, I already told you, is something that is easy to do. To knock someone's socks off is to amaze them, to impress them. For example, his performance was so good, it knocked the judge's socks off. It really impressed them. It amazed them. To let the cat out of the bag is to reveal a secret. To reveal a secret, usually unintentionally. To reveal a secret. At the drop of a hat, without hesitation, immediately. To do something immediately. Coast an arm and a leg, already told you, pay a large amount of money, be very expensive. Pull someone's leg. Is to trick someone. To trick someone, to play a joke on someone. Caught between two stools. You are unable to choose between two alternatives. There are two choices and you are unable to choose one of them. To lose one's marbles is to go crazy, to act in a crazy way, strange way. When you say somebody has lost his marbles, that means that person is mad. To hit the sack is to go to bed. 
I'm very tired. I'm going to heat the sack. That means I'm going to sleep. When you say I'm all ears, you are very eager to listen to something. You're very eager to hear something. To get cold feet is to lose courage to do something. For example, the bride got cold feet and ran away before the wedding. Kalyantra Mumba bride Odi Poli because she got cold feet. That means she doesn't have the courage to get married. Now pause the video and try to do the exercise. It will only take 5 minutes. In order to do the next activity, you have to read the text once again. You need to read the autobiographical story written by Jesse Owens once again. And you have to pick out the idiomatic expressions from the text, which have the same meaning as those given in the boxes below. You have to pick out idioms from the text that have the same meaning as these words. Text will be idioms. So, in order to make this task easier for you, these are sentences from the textbook. Read these sentences and find the idioms that mean easily, bother, hidden and very angry. Post the video and find the idioms that mean easily bother hidden and very angry so which is the idiom that means easily everyone kind of expected me to win that olympic even hands down so win hands down that means win easily you should be able to qualify with your eyes closed. With your Do something with your eyes closed. Also means you can do it in your sleep. It is that easy for you. Something must be eating you. Means something must be bothering you. Something must be bothering you. Hitler had kept him under wraps. Hitler had kept him a secret. Hitler had kept him hidden. A little hot under the colder, collar about Hitler's ways. I was determined to go out there and really show. So, what do you mean? Which is the phrase that means very angry. A little hot under the cold. Collar. Hot under the collar means very angry. The next activity is a spelling quiz. Athletes complete, compete by shooting an arrow with a bow. The activity is called archery. A R C H E R Y. Athletes complete, compete by riding bicycles. It's called cycling. C Y C L I N G. A beautiful sport where athletes dive into water in style. It's called diving. D I V I N G. Athletes complete by compete by running and jumping over several frames. 
hurdles h u r d l e s jumping over hurdles or obstacles hurdle hurdles h u r d l e s a pitcher throws the ball and a batter hits the ball with a bat baseball b a s e b a l l let's serve jump and spike the ball volleyball v o l l e y b a l l athletes compete by riding a horse over a frame what is that called it's called equestrian equestrian can also be pronounced equestrian equestrian can be pronounced equestrian or equestrian e q u e s t r i a n equestrian it leads use a blunt sword to hit an opponent that's called fencing f e n c i n g they use a blunt sword not a real sword athletes wear special gloves and punch each other that's called boxing b o x i n g athletes do several acrobatic stunts and are judged by a panel of judges gymnastics g y m n a s t i c s a field sport where athletes throw a long spear javelin j a v e l i n a field sport where athletes throw a heavy metal ball shot put s h o t p u t Look at the following pairs of words in section A and the words given in section B. Pick the right word from section A that means the same as that in B. And write in C. Basically, there are two words, quiet q u i e t and quiet q u i t e. Which of these words mean peaceful? ഈ രണ്ട് വേർഡ്സിൽ ഏത് വേർഡിനാണ് പീസ്ഫുൾ എന്നുള്ള മീനിങ് ഉള്ളത് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യു യു ഐ ഇ ടി ഓർ ക്യു യു ഐ ടി ഇ ക്യു യു ഐ ഇ ടി ക്വൈറ്റ് മീൻസ് പീസ്ഫുൾ ക്യു യു ഐ ടി ഇ ക്വൈറ്റ് മീൻസ് ആബ്സലൂട്ട്ലി ഓർ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ക്വൈറ്റ് ഡാർക്ക് Q U I T E means absolutely or almost completely. Q U I E T means peaceful. Next two words A F F E C T effect E F F E C T effect. Which of these words mean influence? A F F E C T means influence e f f e c t effect is a change which is a result or consequence of an action or other cause cause and effect in the english result aanu ennaanu parayunnathu cause and effect for example the lethal effect of drugs on the body cause and effect a f f e c t effect means influence both buildings were badly affected by the fire the divorce affected every aspect of her life
The next set of words are accept and except. A C C E P T accept. E X C E P T accept. Which of these words mean agree? A C C E P T accept means agree. I accepted the terms and conditions means I agreed to the terms and conditions. E X C E P T. The museum is open daily except on Mondays. Monday orige ella dusangalu. Everyone was there except for Sally. Sally orige baki ella varu. The next set of words are break, B-R-E-A-K and break, B-R-A-K-E. Which one of these words mean stop? B-R-A-K-E. She has no brakes on her bicycle. B-R-A-K-E. Your car has a brake, B-R-A-K-E. That means to stop, something to stop the car. The driver suddenly put on his brakes. B-R-A-K-E. To break is to break something. To destroy something. B-R-E-A-K. B-R-E-A-K. Break is to break something or to destroy something. It can also mean an interval. B-R-E-A-K. Break can also mean an interval. A break between classes, for example. The next set of words are meet, M-E-E-T, and meet, M-E-A-T. Which of these words mean to join? M-E-E-T, meet, means join. Would you like to meet my sister, M-E-E-T? Come and meet my friend Laura. M-E-E-T. Do you eat meat? M-E-A-T. Meat has a lot of protein in it. M-E-A-T. The next set of words are F-E-E-T, feet, and F-E-A-T, feet. Which one of these words is a unit of measurement? F-E-E-T feet is a unit of measurement. F-E-E-T feet is also a part of the body. It is the, pa it is the plural of F-O-O-T foot. Foot in the plural ana feet. F-E-E-T. For example, he is five feet Six inches tall. So FEET feet is a unit of measurement. What do you mean by FEAT? Also pronounced as feet. A feet is something that is difficult to achieve. It takes a lot of skill, strength, etc. to achieve it. For example, the Eiffel Tower is a remarkable feat of engineering. It is difficult to make a tower like that. It takes a lot of skill and strength to make a tower like that. The Eiffel Tower is a remarkable feat of engineering. That is F-E-A-T feat. Next set of words are loose, L-O-O-S-E and loose, L-O-S-E. Which of these words mean to no longer have something? Nashta peduga in meaning or other. Is it L-O-O-S-E or L-O-S-E? It is L-O-S-E. To lose, L-O-S-E, something. To no longer have something. For example, when you lose weight, 
when you l o s e lose weight your pants become loose l o o s e next set of words a n g e l angel and a n g l e angle which one of these means the space between two lines it is angle the space between two lines is angle a n g l e an angel is a heavenly being or malaka for example an angel appeared in the sky a n g e l next we are going to learn about collocations what is a collocation a collocation is a group of words a collocation is two or more words that often go together a two two or more words that are used together for example making a bed doing homework saving time doing the dishes giving someone advice so these words like doing homework doing the dishes these words are always used together that is why this group of words is called a collocation here are some more examples just go through the list do a favor do the cooking do the housework do the shopping do the washing up do the dishes do your best do your hair do harm do good these are the collocations that start with make make a difference make a mess make a mistake make a noise make an effort make money make progress make room make trouble which are the collocations that start with the word have have a bath have a good time have a drink have a haircut have a holiday have a relationship have a problem have lunch have sympathy words the collocations that start with the word take take a break take a chance take a look take a rest take a seat take a taxi take an exam take notes take someone's place a few more examples have we have already discussed break break a leg break a leg means good luck it doesn't mean to actually break a leg when you say somebody go break a leg that means good luck break a habit break a record again doesn't mean to actually physically break a record means break to break a record say in sports break a promise break a window break someone's heart break the ice what does it mean to break the ice is to start a conversation with somebody you just met break the ice Break the law. 
break the news to someone break the rules then collocations that start with pay pay a fine pay attention pay by credit card pay cash pay interest pay someone a compliment Pay someone a visit, pay the price, pay the bill, pay your respects. So you pay a compliment, you pay your respects, you pay attention. So these are important collocations. What about make? Make a difference, make a mistake, make a noise, make an effort, make money, make furniture, make progress make trouble, make room. Here are some collocations with time. To waste time. Do you know that you're wasting time? Free time. I have a lot of free time. Debt on time. At the, exact, the correct time, I left dead on time at 11.50 p.m. At the correct time. Spend some time. Time passes. As time passes, it becomes more difficult to raise funds. Save time. Saves time. And it is free of a phone charge. Right on time. He came at the right time. The time the trial lawyer was right on time for his next case. From dawn till dusk. That is also a collocation. From morning till evening. Strong tea or coffee is a collocation. You always try. Strong tea or coffee. You do not say powerful tea or coffee. You say tall tree. You do not say high tree. We say heavy rain, not weighty rain. We say rich taste. We do not say deep taste. We say big mistake. Nobody says large mistake. Even though big and large have the same meaning. We say big mistake, not large mistake. We say great fun. We do not say big fun. So certain words just go together. That is why they are called collocations. So here is the next exercise. I already completed it for you. What are the words that go with heavy? Heavy vehicle. That is the example given you in your textbook. Heavy drinker, heavy smoker, heavy rain, heavy load, heavy traffic. These are all words that go with heavy. One of the words that go with miss. Miss a chance. Miss an opportunity. Miss a flight. Miss a bus, miss a point, or miss a joke, miss someone. These are all words that go with miss. What about the word tell? Tell a story. Tell the difference. Tell a lie. Tell the truth. Tell the time. These are all words that go with tell. So you have to make collocations with the words given here. For example, make changes. Make preparations. Take precautions. Lay a table. Make a call. Pass or remark. 
pass judgment. Pay a visit. Take a bath. Make a plan. So just pause the video and try to do this exercise. See if you got the answers correct. Remember this, to make the dish is to cook the dish, to cook something. But when you say do the dishes, that refers to washing the dishes. When you say do the dishes, can you do the dishes? Can you wash the dishes? Now try to do this exercise on your own. Read the following sentences and say whether the words have the right collocations. If not, correct them. So I've given you some clues. Raju laid a visit to his uncle. The correct usage is pay a visit. Both teams have precautions against injury. The correct term is take precaution. Arjun had a remark on the dress code. The correct usage is pass a remark. Or you can also say make a remark. But pass a remark is more correct. I paid the table. The correct usage is lay the table. We passed charges to our vacation plans. The correct usage is make changes. Here are the answers. Raju paid a visit to his uncle. Both teams have taken precautions against injury. Arun passed a remark on the dress code. I laid the table. We made changes to our vacation plans. Thank you.